So I'm back with another video. In this video, as you guys can tell by the title, is going to be me explaining how I got suspended from elementary school when I was in the fifth grade. Yeah. So, you know, I was in fifth grade. I wasn't mature. I was very immature. And um, I had a group of friends. And it was in April. You know, April, you do the little April Fool pranks and stuff like that so we was like oh let's do an april fool's prank on the teacher okay so that was the day before we was thinking we was like let's do an april fool prank so that same day we had never came up with a prank to do on the teacher so then the next day had came and we was like y'all what are we gonna do we really need to do a prank so then one of my friends had came up with the idea of oh let's do the period prank on the teacher and act like we found the path in the middle of the ground and go to the class and show the teacher and be like we found this in the middle of the hallway we was like that sounds like a good idea to do and all but where are we gonna get the pad from and where are we gonna get the blood from so yeah so we was like um i ain't really know nobody well i knew one person but i was like she's not gonna give us no pad because she was a goody good but now She's not at all. We gonna name her. I'm still cool with her now. We gonna name her M. We just gonna say M. Cause I'm pretty sure she's not gonna care. Cause her first name starts with the M, but I don't think she's gonna care. So we gonna say M. So I was like, I know M is on her cycle or whatever. She's already a lady. But I don't think she's gonna give us a pad because, you know, she's good good. She's not gonna want to be involved with this i mean i was a good good too at the time but i don't know what was running through my head to do this prank with them so um i had asked him she had gave us the pad and she knew what we was doing too she was like what y'all need it for and i was like we trying to do a prank on the teacher and stuff so i had got the pad from her and then um she had gave it to us and then we was like well where are we gonna get the die from so then we had went to, which was our friend at the time. I don't really talk to her now, but like we was on up on each other's Snapchat posters and stuff, like, like hard eyes and stuff. But I don't really talk to her now, for real. And then she had gave us the color. It was red food dye. I forgot who put the food color on the pad, but it wasn't me. It was somebody. I think it was probably... We gonna name her Honey. I think it was Honey. And what should we name that other girl? I think it was Honey and Bear. I think that they was putting it on there. So, um, y'all, I'm so dumb for doing this. But, yeah, they had put it on there. And then Honey had bought her iPad to school so we can record it. We was like, somebody needs to record it, somebody needs to record it. We was talking about somebody needs to record it like we was gonna be posting it on YouTube. But um she had brought her thing, we had snuck her iPad into the class and she had put it in her shirt and then she gave it to me and then she had went. So then we was like, Okay, it's time to do the prank. So then uh, y'all this light keep on going in and out. It's my MacBook. I'm using it for extra light because you know but um yeah she was like i'm finna go ask to go to the bathroom so then she asked to go to the bathroom she's like jakaya record so i was recording on the ipad i had to keep it like up under the desk but like make sure you still see it then she came in i wonder if she still got that footage bruh she probably don't but um she was like she, she was like okay so i'm finna go to the bathroom da -da -da -da. i was recording then she came in with the pad. She was like, I found this pad. And she a class clown. She really funny. She's like, I found this pad in the hallway. And everybody was like, ugh. And everybody was laughing and stuff. Even the teacher was laughing. It was a, we had a 
did I already say this? It was a black male teacher. Because he had two teachers and we had to switch classes or whatever. Yeah, he was laughing. So he didn't think nothing of it. He was just like, go throw it away and go use the bathroom. Okay, so then that was that. And I was like, ah, that was funny. That was cool. That was cool. Ain't think I was going to be getting in trouble. But then we did it to the second teacher, which we shouldn't have never. We should have never did it to her. We should have never did it to her. We would have never gotten in trouble. But then we did it to her. It was, uh, I forgot her name. But, um, yeah, we yeah, did it on her. And she ain't find nothing funny. She was just like, okay, go throw it in the trash. There was no need for you to bring it into the class. You're trying to be funny. It was no need. Like, go throw it away. So then they had started talking. So then she had went to him and was talking to him about the whole situation. So then we was like, I was like, oh, damn, we're going to get in trouble. All because of her. So then, um... Yeah, they had went, well, she had went to the office and told about it. I was like, I'm going to die. I was like, I'm really finna die. I'm finna get a whooping. Da -da -da -da. So then they had called us all down. They was like, you know, on the little intercom thing, was like, can you send Jakaya? honey bear down to the office and i was like like my heart dropped like my heart dropped my stomach dropped everything just dropped i was so scared so then i was walking down we was all walking down to the office we was laughing and stuff we was like we was laughing but we was nervous like you could tell like we was like y'all we finna get in trouble I hope they don't suspend us or anything like that. So then we went to the office. The principal had called all of us into his office one by one. Called Honey in first and was asking her questions. She did her thing then came out. And then, you know, we was like, what he say, what he say. And she was just like, he was just asking questions. Like, why would we do that and stuff like that. And I was like, oh. And he was my favorite teacher. Like, I felt guilty. Like, not my favorite teacher. He was my favorite principal. And I felt real guilty. I was like, Jakaya. Because, like, I was like, mm, why? So then, um, he had called Bear in. And he had talked to Bear. Then he had finally called me in. And I was like. So then I went to the office and he was like, so he had the pad in a bag. We gonna act like this is the pad because it's red and it's the only thing about me. He was like, so you did this prank on them with this? And I was like. like yeah and then he was like what made y'all what made y'all do that and i was just like it was just a prank and you know it was april Fool, so we thought it would be fun to do a prank and he was like it was okay when y'all just did it to the female teacher but y'all did it to the male teacher and he was like and that's called something and he was like he said that's called something i forgot what he was talking about but Cause everything was just really just going in one ear and out the other. Cause I was really focused on that butt whooping that I was gonna get. He was like, um, you know, I wouldn't suspend y'all, but they said I was gonna have to because this was uncalled for and it wasn't funny. And I was like, suspended, suspended, and I started bawling my eyes out. And he was like, he was like, um, yeah, suspended. So then he called my mama while I was in the office and had told her, was like, Hey, so Jakaya thought that it would be very cool to do a prank with her and her other friends when the teacher with a bloody bag and thought that that was
was going to be okay for him to go into the class and say that they found this in the middle of the hall. And I was like, he really just caught my mama. He really just caught my mama. So then I had went out the office and he was like, do you want to talk to her? And then I guess she said no because I don't remember talking to my mama. Because, um, because he always be like, if you get in trouble, he'd be like, do you want to talk to her? Da, 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 da. And, and whatever. And I was just like, I don't want to talk to my mama right now. Why would you, why would you say that? Why would you do that? Why? So then, everybody's parents was coming in. No, honey, oh my God. Honey's mama had came in first. Then Bear's mama came. Then my mama came. And like at the school that I went to, it was the office, then it was a window, then it was the door. So you could see whoever's walking, whoever's gonna walk into the school. You could see, you could see in the office, you could see. And I seen my mama and I was like Like, my heart dropped, my stomach dropped. Like I said, everything dropped. And she gave me that look. She was like, let's go. And I was like, I was like, man, I'm going to get my phone taken. I'm going to be grounded. And I ain't never been grounded before. And I think I had a ZTE. No, I had an Android at the time. It was either a ZTE or an Android. And I had an iPad. And in the car, it was just silence. Well, at first she was like, why would you do that? What made you think that, that um, it was cool for you to do that? And I was like, I don't know. I don't know. And um, I tried to put my phone in my backpack. So she didn't see it and be like, and you can hand me that phone. And I, Jakaya, what made you think putting your phone in your backpack was going to make you keep it? Because it didn't. Not at all. She was really mad because she had to get off of work to come pick me up. My mama do hair. So she had to stop her client just to come pick me up from school. Because of a stupid prank that I wanted to do. In the car, she was like, and don't get on that phone. She said, don't get on that phone. Don't get on that iPad. Don't get on nothing. And she was like, and don't get on nobody else's phone. Don't get on nothing. And I was like, and I think she made me delete Snapchat too. So I didn't have Snapchat for a couple years until like seventh grade year. No, it's my sixth grade year. I got it back. Fifth grade, I didn't have it. And in sixth grade, she gave it back to me. She let me have it again. A couple years, I got to the shop. And I had laid on the couch. Because they got a couch there or whatever. And I laid on the couch. And everybody was like, why you out of school early? Why you out of school early? And I was just like, can y'all stop talking to me? Can y'all stop asking me why I'm out of school? They was like, why you out of school early, sweetie? Are you, you don't feel good? You don't feel good? And I was just like... I stopped talking to you, leave me alone. I'm out of school because I wanted to do a dumb prank. But I don't want to tell you that. So I would just be like, no. And then I will walk away. So I ain't got to answer no more of questions. But um, then my godmommy had came in. And she was like, why are you out of school early? And I was like, because I wanted to do a prank on my teacher. And we did a bloody, I was crying. I was like, because... I did a bloody, bloody, uh, pad prank on my teacher, and I'm in trouble, and they suspended me. My godmommy was laughing. She was like, oh, that's a funny prank, that's a funny prank, that's a funny prank, da 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 da, -da. And uh, I was just like, <laughs> and then I started laughing, because she was laughing, and we laughed. So, um, then she had went in, and my mom was like, um, is she in trouble? And she and her mom was like, yes. And my grandma was like, uh, don't whip her, don't whip her. Um, it's just a prank. She don't know no better. My mom was like, she knows better. She knows better. She knows what to do and what not to do. And my grandma was like, she's a young kid. She don't know. She don't know. And then, uh, she was like, mom was like, 
no, no. And when we get home, she getting a whoop, and I was like, a whooping, 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 a whooping. A whooping. It's like no, but um, <laughs> but yeah. And then I guess my mama had called my daddy. Well, he had, she had called my daddy and told him the situation. But I ain't know that at the time. And then she had called my granny to come pick me up from the shop. So my granny had came and got me, and I was just at my granny's house chilling. And then I went to go ride my bike or whatever outside. I was riding my bike. And school was out at this point, and I was riding my bike, and then I seen M. M had drove past my granny's house, and I was outside riding my bike, and she was just like, hey, and I was like, hey. But everybody was mad because M didn't get in trouble, because M was the one who gave us the pass. But M tried to act like she didn't know that we was doing a prank to get herself out of the situation. But... I ain't really care. I'm not really tripping because I was like, at the time, I was like, she should be in trouble. And we was mad at him for a while, too, because we was like, how she didn't get in trouble? You know, we was being petty. So, yeah, then my dad had pulled up. and But I was inside at this point. But he had knocked on the, knocked on the door. I was like, my granny's house. He had this big black paddle. And it was like, go to the bathroom, go to the bathroom, pull your pants down because I'm going to whoop you. And he had this long pedal. I started crying. I was in tears, like crying, like, like crying, like somebody just snatched me up and took me crying like that. Like, yes. So he was just like, why would you do that? Why would you do that? What made you think that, that was cute? That's not cute. That's nasty. And da, 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 da. Then he's like, pull your pants up, pull your pants up. I was like, put my pants up. I ain't even gonna whoop you. And he was like, um, it was a prank. How you like that? How you like that? April Fools, it was a prank. I'm not gonna whoop you, but you don't do it no more. And I was like, I was like, but you know, deep, deep, deep down inside, I was like, but I ain't get that whooping though. But I ain't get that whooping. But I ain't get that whooping. But, um, I was still crying though. Cause he did get me. He did get me. He was like, how you like that? And I was like, I don't. Not at all. I don't. I'm done. I'm done with pranks. So then after that, I ain't even want to do no prank. I ain't do a prank for like a good year and a half. Cause I was like, I know if I do a prank, he gonna bring it up. Cause that's my dad. And he likes to bring up stuff from the past. And I know he's gonna be like, now you want to do pranks on me, didn't you? I didn't get in trouble for doing a prank at school. I'm doing a prank at school. So then, yeah. So then we had got back to school or whatever. And we was only suspended for like two days. Or a day or two. And um, we had went back to school and we was like, you know, we was asking each other, did y'all get a whooping? Did y'all get a whooping by y'all parents? Did y'all parents whoop you? And we were just explaining our stories, like what our parents did on each side. And my friend was like, no, I ain't getting no whooping. But they yelled at me and stuff like that. And I don't have my phone and stuff. And I was like, girl, I'm phoneless. I can't get on anything. But you know, it's okay. So, that is the end of this video. So, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah.